And we're back. We were just here. We didn't really leave. No, yeah. we did not uh, move. Welcome we to the uh, Sin and Sonata <laughs> show. Uh, anyways, to get um, back to uh, our show here. How was your trip? We haven't seen you in uh, two weeks. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to go through it really fast because I talk too much. Uh, but I went to Georgia, the country, which was really funny. Did people think you were in Atlanta? Yeah, everybody thought I'm in U.S. Yeah. Everyone, including my own friends that knew I was going to go out of country, they thought I'm here. Uh, but I went to Georgia. The country is close. It's right on the border of Iran where I'm not allowed to be, which they like to kill me there. Yes. Um, because they like me so much. I'm so lovely. Uh, I went there and it was, uh, I, I actually got, like, officially got booked to go there three days before the actual event. So those are the tickets that they printed out. And, um, cool. That's my, my lovely girl, Anahida. And what was the name of the event? That, uh, uh, the event was um, the Persian Rock and Metal Festival that my friends from Master of Persia put together. And Obviously, my love horns have gotten all the way through the other Look side of the world. Everybody, w- awesome. everybody had it up. It was like cool. about fifteen hundred people there. It was an amazing show. It was it was crazy. I, I walk up there and there's like the biggest banner with me on it I, nice. that I've ever seen, and I'm like, holy shit, what the hell? Where am I going? Like this is kind of <laughs> creeping me out now. But the respond of uh, of the crowd there was so different than the US like yeah. they they are hungry for music they are hungry for entertainment and and things like that and even though the bands were all from Georgia Iran Armenia and one band from France that came it wasn't really any big heavy act coming from like let's let's say uh, either you know Europe or US right it was amazing like people dug the hell out of it I mean I I was I was throwing was out like this the first picks. time they had, they had done this festival. This is actually the second time they they did it um, in Tbilisi, um, Georgia. The first time they did it, they did it in jo- in uh, Armenia. Mm. So this was the second one, and it was extremely successful, and people really really loved it. And it, I mean, they loved it to a point that I was wearing my Megadeth um, wristband, and I I was like I, just the, seeing those people just going crazy down there. I, I had to give it to them. Like right. that was just like part. It's that's like part of my soul. I would not give it to anybody, but I, I'm like, I'm gonna throw this out. So I told them, and I threw it out. And and not joking, about 20 minutes, people were fighting of and course. kicking each other's ass. <laughs> yeah. Like we had to go and st- like the security had to go stop them, and it got ripped into three pieces. And people were wearing. And I think I had one picture of one of the guys wearing one of the pieces of the. Uh, the wristband it was just it was crazy i mean i'd love to see that reaction from people yeah where music is appreciated and people actually support each other and it's go so out not like the la crowds no it's right? like i and i told them on stage about the la crowd and i and i t- i gave them props for this i yeah. you know it's like you guys really like handed it to me right now i'm just i feel i feel ashamed to go back home and like go to a show now because i'm not going to see these this anymore so we're definitely going to do more shows uh for sure master of persia did an amazing job to pull this together out of like their asses let's say i mean like literally they spent every single penny they had to to get this show together and uh locomotive promotion was helping them there and everybody just kind of came together um ministry of culture got involved like people got involved to to start helping but they all they all managed to pull it <laughs> that's andy dick yelling out there <laughs> wow. is it Who is that, that sounds like him there's like some crazy <laughs> there's something going on, going on we need there. security here yeah but I, I had a blast i would definitely go back again i did a few music seminars for for kids there are they planning to, on doing it next year again uh well, I am actually trying to bring the kids uh, from Master of Persia who planned all of this uh, themselves. I, I really want to bring them to U.S. And then from there on, yes, I would definitely would love to go back there or any other country around there and put this event yeah. all the time because it's uh, it's necessary to do it. It's n- definitely something yeah, necessary. Might be cool. So any big bands that want want to go, I I was the most wanted in Iran. I went there and I came back safe. So you guys are safe. And if you guys feel like you want to give a little bit to the part of the country, to the not country, but the part of the world that really, really 
admires you guys and and loves you to pieces yeah. if you guys want to do this tour with me just just hit me up let me know and we'll we'll set it up immediately and uh we'll plan it ahead of time and and cool. we'll go there because because it was it was awesome well, i can't say I mean, it was cold i got a cold i got my girly shit going on i got every uh -oh. all hell broke loose on my part but uh i managed to pull uh -oh. through it I had to say that. I'm sorry. Like I, I, I had to say it in the middle of the club because I was I, I sat down to do an interview with BBC and I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> this is not the you right had time. Yeah, that sound going on your Damn. head. Damn. I was like, I gotta get up, and they just mic'd me. I'm like, they're like, can you just wait? I'm like, nope. There ain't the no waiting time. for this. <laughs> oh my god. I hate when that happens. It was a lot of fun. I just want to thank. All